All right, guys, I want to say thank you so much for tuning into the video today. I just had an amazing take on this audio or commentary, whatever you want to call it. I realized I didn't hit the record button like a jackass, so I'm going to try this again. Uh, this is a 27 safeguard match on the map Breach. Match? Map? I don't know what I said, but whatever. And uh, basically, this is a bad gameplay, sort of. It's like not the best, but I wanted to do that on purpose uh, just because of the topic of the video, which is, is Black Ops 3 a good game? Now, the reason why I put a bad gameplay in the background, or, well, I, I, I think it's bad. You probably think it's bad, too, but, um, it's because I want to I wanna upload a gameplay of me getting absolutely annihilated and showing you guys that even when I'm doing bad or not having the best game in the world, I'm still having fun. And that's true, because this is a fun game, and I think this is a good game. You know, and, like, some of the things I'm going to be talking about is the movement system, the guns, the maps, the specialist, and, you know, Treyarch's always been that developer to... You know, they like they, try, they like to try new things, you know, the zombie maps and stuff like that are definitely very good. And they implemented, you know, the specialist abilities, which are something that hasn't been added into a Call of Duty game before. And I think the specialist abilities, honestly, are very good. Um, a lot of them work better in specific game modes. They work, as, like, they work for people's play styles a little better. And not all of them are incredibly OP. You know, like, they're all pretty much, like, balanced, you know, like the purifier, like, that shoots you know short range the vision pulse when you pop that off well you they see you on the map uh, the gravity spikes I've shot people out of the sky when they're coming down with their gravity spikes and the uh, scythe uh, that thing you just hope that hell they're not accurate and that's how it is for the annihilator I know it's like a one-shot kill depending on where you hit the person uh, you just got to be pretty accurate with that same thing with the sparrow um, the active camo you can actually see the person still that's something really cool there and as for like the psychosis ability uh, a lot of people don't do it right uh, if you pop the psychosis ability try to go towards where your clones are going don't just stand there because that's going to give you away if you ever see someone pop psychosis on you look very closely and if you see a clone that's not acting like the others then that's the person that you're trying to shoot a little tip there but um basically i don't know i just feel like they're all pretty pretty much you know balanced honestly uh, like overdrive and active camo work a little better and uplink and capture a flag um, vision pulse works a little better and like search and destroy um, and then you know like the mass where you got to be like a slayer or whatever you know like TDM or something like that and you're gonna want to use like the um, lethal abilities so you know I think I think they're good and I think that they they kind of put them in pretty well along with the movement system look at that grenade oh my god anyway so uh, one of the things that are definitely really cool about this game is that they actually got the movement system down, I think, pretty well. Because they do have the double jump in this game. They got the wall ride, and they got, you know, like the sliding and everything. But it still feels like I'm playing Call of Duty. Advanced Warfare felt like I was playing something completely crazy. And this game doesn't feel like Destiny to me. It doesn't feel like Titanfall or none of that shit. Um, people say that it feels like Destiny to them. I played Destiny. I played Destiny for like 20 hours. I had like 20 hours worth of game time on Destiny. And uh, that's not a lot compared to a lot of people. I'm just saying I played that game for... I had 20 hours played on that game. But it definitely didn't feel like Destiny to me. And, you know, I just think that they got it down, you know. Like, as for Advanced Warfare, you jump up and you dash this way, dash that way, dash down. It was crazy. You see the round there, 12 and 8, going into the other gameplay. And... Or not the other gameplay, the other round, excuse me. But uh, as for the maps on this game, I feel like, this, like the maps on this game are definitely very good as well. Uh, because you got maps like uh, Breach, as you see I'm playing on right now. I love Breach. Definitely a fun map. You got Hunted. Uh, Fringe is a good map. Fringe is a very popular map. Uh, Combine is definitely very fun. I like Combine. A lot of people don't like Combine, but I do. Uh, Aquarium looks cool. I don't like how Aquarium plays, but I think it definitely looks cool. Uh, Havoc, that's kind of the proper name for it. And I really don't like Exodus. Like, I rarely ever play Exodus because, like, it's just every time people, like, it comes up, people never play it. Uh, Metro, I don't like Metro, really. And Infection, eh, I'm kind of, eh, on Infection. It's most because of the stupid church. Like, I swear, there's always some jackass in the church, man. But, uh, basically, you know, like, uh, my opinion on that, you know, you're not going to get, like, perfect maps, you know, every single time on the first go around you know they do have to make a profit they gotta release the better maps on the DLC so that's something definitely to keep in mind there but I do think that the maps are very good they usually go for the three lane maps you know you got one way on the left one way on the right and you got middle 
And so that's usually what Treyarch likes to go for. And it's something very awesome that they do. Uh, before this gameplay ends here, got about four minutes left. Uh, guns, I think the guns are balanced in this game. I don't think that, you know, there's one gun that shines over the other. Um, like the assault rifles, of course, like a lot of people love the M8. Uh, the Man of War, the Shiva, and the um, ICR, the Havoc and everything. Definitely very good guns. Um, as for the submachine guns, basically all of them are good except for the Razorback. I've had good matches with the Weevil. I'm not even joking. The Weevil, people say, is a hit marker city gun. You just get hit marker, hit marker, hit marker. But I've had good games with that thing. And um, definitely fun, 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 fun gun to use. Especially when you get good games with it. But I basically that's my opinion there on the submachine guns. Is like they're all good. It's like I don't really think a specific submachine gun outclasses the other. A lot of people like to argue that maybe the Vesper is the go-to gun in the submachine gun class, but that I don't think that at all. As I get burned alive, good God. Anyway, uh, the Argus shotgun is the only shotgun I've used there. Uh, the Gorgon, definitely a good gun. Uh, it's just a little slow. Uh, sniper rifles, Locust, and SVG, definitely the go-to guns. Pistols, I like all the pistols. Um, a lot of people were, like, are concerned about, like, I've heard that when they go against a, a uh, SMG, they just lose uh, when they're using assault rifle. I don't know if I worded that correctly. Uh, if you use a pistol, you'll have a good chance. Uh, the RK-5 is a good pistol. You just have to be accurate. And then, um, like, if you use laser sight on some of the assault rifles, it actually makes them good. Honestly, uh, I've used the laser sight, I want to say, on the Havoc. So that's pretty sweet there. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just like the guns. I think they're, I think they're pretty balanced. I, I, I really don't think that there is an OP gun. Razorback Beta was an OP gun. I will agree there. But, I don't know. And as for, like, the perks and everything, the perks are pretty much the generic stuff. I don't think the perks suck ass. I think they're, they're pretty good. You know, you got Afterburner, which hides your, you know, boosting. And then you got Ghost. And you got all that stuff. You got, like, a hardline-looking perk thing. And really, it's just like there, there's really nothing else you can add in, you know, like because they're not all about the pro stuff. I think they did that in Black Ops 1 and they haven't done it since. So I, don't, I really don't think you can add in other perks and make it any different. But yeah, that's just me. But anyway, uh, yeah, I, I, I definitely love this game and I can't wait to see what it's like in the final product after they get done with all the patches and everything. And um. I can't I just can't wait to see what else this game has to offer because I've been having a lot of fun with it I love watching it I love playing it and it's just something I'm just glad this game came out honestly I'm glad this is what they came out with I think it, it is a amazing game and you know I don't get paid for this so this is straight up my opinion I've heard people say shit that other youtubers say or someone else says and you know that I, I don't know me, this is my opinion, guys. This is just how I feel. Um, not trying to be like anyone else. Just trying to give you guys my two cents. The honest two cents. But yeah, this gameplay is coming down to an end. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And if you do indeed have anything to say in the comment section below, if you have a gun that I might have missed or you have like a gun suggestion or something like that, you know, you think is good or isn't good, let me know. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys for watching. And watch this final kill here, and oh, get taken out the game, son. And we get that round win 2 0 victory. And yeah, I'm gonna go watch some more Pro Call of Duty. <laughs> I just watched uh, TK 3 0 phase. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then you should definitely go watch some Pro Call of Duty. It'll definitely help out your game. But yeah, you guys are amazing. I love you. And uh, make sure to go check out the other games that I have on my channel. I have two other Call of Duty games. And I'm going through theater mode right now. Really unprofessional. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you're amazing, guys. Take care, and I'll catch you on the next video.